everybody, welcome back and thank you for hanging out. Today, I'm super stoked to be the first person to give you a review and a first look at the Nike Metcon 5 Plus. I just received these shoes a few days ago. Honestly, when they came in, I had no idea what they were. I wasn't expecting them. I actually took a picture, threw it up on Instagram, and that picture did not do that shoe any justice. Without further ado, let's get a first look at the Nike Metcon 5 Plus. All right, are you ready? Insert dramatic music. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Nike Metcon 5 Plus. So, what are the differences? Structurally, there are no differences between this shoe and any of the other Nike Metcon 5s, whether it's the kind of the purple gum bottom color ones or the ones we're gonna be wearing at the games, the gold ones. There's no structural difference between these shoes. You'll also notice the colorway on the shoe, the three colors have actually flipped from the original Metcon that came out, the Metcon 1. And it's kind of a cool concept. It's like, hey, remember when we created the Metcon 1, we created a lot of waves in the functional fitness era? Well, since then, we're on the fifth shoe now, and it's gotten better every single time, but we haven't forgotten about where we come. And that's kind of what I think they're trying to do is kind of like, hey, remember how far we've come? Yeah, we haven't forgotten about it, and we're only getting better. Something else that's new on the Nike Metcon 5 Plus is this plus symbol here. You won't see this on the other fives at all. This is essentially, this symbol stands for a new movement for the Nike Metcon line. And I think it's kind of cool. I don't, they didn't really define it yet, but my idea and my take on it is in 2014 and 15, when they first came out with their Metcon, we couldn't wear them at the games, and I was there. We had to wear a Reebok, which is fine. It's a Reebok CrossFit Games. But now, the Reebok CrossFit Games has allowed us to wear Nike shoes on the field of play. And so it's kind of their idea of, hey, it's a new movement. We can now wear our shoes out that we've broken through. We are now allowed to wear them. They're essentially unbanned. And so I think that's what that kind of represents. That's just my idea. I could be wrong. What are your thoughts on it? The next major difference between the Nike Metcon 5 Plus and the Nike Metcon 5 is the laces. It's kind of a cool concept. The laces have latitude and longitude on it written over and over and over again that point to the center of fitness or the center of functional fitness, which is in Madison, Wisconsin. Now, most people actually took these latitude and longitude and put it into Google and kept complaining on Instagram that it uh, points to a China, somewhere in the China Sea, which I would say those people they obviously were sleeping or daydreaming during fourth grade when they learned how to read and write latitude and longitude. It's re you read the degrees first and then the direction. So it's 43 degrees north and 89 degrees west. It's kind of confusing when it's on a lace because it just kind of repeats itself, but you know, if a fourth grader can do it, so can you. As a real quick side note though, the shoe still does come with the hyper lift that the rest of the fives come with, and the shoe also comes with an extra set of laces just in case you don't wanna wear latitude and longitude of Madison, Wisconsin. It comes with an option of changing the laces out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Nike Metcon 5 Plus. The colorway shows us how far we've come since the Metcon 1s. The plus symbol shows us the idea of, hey, we're only getting these shoes better, we're only making them better. And the latitude and longitude show that, hey, we really care about functional fitness. We really are here to stay in this sport and continue to make you a great shoe. The Nike Metcon 5 Plus will be available in August for Nike Plus members to purchase, and then soon thereafter, the general public can get their hands on them. If you want a review, of the Nike Metcon 5 in general and durability and, and stability, then I'll include a video of that in the cards above. Other than that, this is just a look, a first look at the colorway and the concepts that are different between this and the Metcon 5s. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya!